Indiana faces very deep problems and we need to address those real problems. One of the real problems is that we are losing our best and brightest to other states. And I have to tell you, if you're talking about retaining our best and brightest in science and technology and engineering and mathematics, guess what? You got to show that you're with the times or at least have the capacity to change with the times. This is not an invitation for people to want to stay in Indiana, especially young people, because they care about what we are saying about their peers and their loved ones and people that they respect. Look, we took a step in the right direction last night, but it was just one step. Let us set aside this debate once and for all. Let's focus on making people's lives better and not singling them out. And let's for once, Mr. Speaker, accept the fact that we are changing. And when we change, it's not the end of the world. We can still love one another. We can still embrace our friends and neighbors. And we can be not just a state that we want to live in, but a state that our kids want to live in after they grow up. Let's vote it down and let's move on. But I think the right decision is to end this now and not spend the rest of this year tearing ourselves up, tearing our public up. Let every person make up their own mind who they want to be married to. And let their church decide whether they want to bless that or not. That's my recommendation to you, and I urge you all to vote no on this amendment. We were elected not to be a conveyor belt of constitutional amendments and just kind of move them along to the ballot as they come. We are given the job not of saying, here's a choice for you to make people. Our job is to say, we think the Constitution is worthy of being amended in this way. We are recommending to the people that it be put in the Constitution and asking for their consent. We're not saying, nah, take it or leave it. We're saying we think it belongs in there. And so for that reason, I think we should say no to this amendment. Discrimination is an ugly, mean thing. It's ugly and it's mean. There is absolutely no reason why anyone in this world should be discriminated against for any reason whatsoever. I ask you to please, please vote no. I'm asking you to represent the people that sent you here. And some of those are gays, some of those are lesbians, some of those are blacks, some of those are whites, Hispanics. And they all deserve the same respect that you want to give the married people back home that are married to one man or one woman. They deserve the same respect. Please vote no. I think what you're going to do by voting yes on this is you're going to guarantee it goes to federal court where at best you don't have any clue and you're going to take this out of what has been a state court issue and will continue to be where it's already been upheld. If you really believe that this is protecting marriage, you better take a minute and ask yourself, are we?